and when and how to use virtual walls. Virtual walls um, come in handy for mainly for when drawing in um, island units. One, because you can snap a unit to virtual walls. And two, because once you draw in a virtual wall, it automatically creates a viewing point for your elevation view. Okay, so virtual wall selector is there. Um, I always use double, the virtual double, um, but I'm just going to draw one in. So, for example, I've drawn in a virtual wall. Um, now, when it comes to obviously adding units in, I'm just going to grab a couple of generic ones. So let's grab a B100. And you can see straight away it's snapping to the wall. Um, this generally makes it easier when putting your island units together. We had another one in on the other side. You can see as it snaps. Um, it, like I said, it's generally easier to put them together. Um, and as I said, now we've drawn that in, it would have automatically created some viewing points in elevation. So let's switch to elevation. And you can see straight away, um, so we're in Fusion version 6, you've got your virtual A, which I can see one side of the island, and then virtual B, which shows you the other. Um, as I said, um, th this makes the whole viewing process of islands a lot easier, um, and it's definitely the way to do it.